Hello everybody and today I am going to tell you about the exponential series. Okay? That means e to the power x is equal to 1 plus x by factorial 1 plus x square by factorial 2 plus x cube by factorial 3 plus so on. And the very interesting thing is that if the power of x is 3, then it is factorial 3. If the power of x is 2, then it is factorial 2. If the power of x is 1, it is factorial 1. If the power of x is 0, so you have by 0 factorial. Okay. So this is the logic of this formula. So now I am going to prove this formula. How to prove this formula? Already it is known to you that E is equal to, I have told you, I have already proved E is equal to 1 plus limit n tends to infinity. 1 plus 1 by n to the power n. So this is e. And if I take e to the power x, then this power x, so the power will be nx. Clear? So let us see here. Now I am proceeding directly. e to the power x. So it is equal to, write that, limit n tends to infinity 1 plus 1 by n to the power n whole to the power x. Is that clear to you? This is e e to the power x. So now, how to prove this one? Actually, it is very very interesting. Limit n tends to infinity. It is 1 plus 1 by n. Since this is a constant, because the variable is n, but this is x. So, we can take it to the inside. It will, I can write 1 plus 1 by n to the power nx. I can write. So this quantity, use the binomial theorem. Limit n tends to infinity. Clear? So I am putting the bracket and apply the binomial theorem. 1 plus nx into 1 by n. nc1 is the to nc1. In terms of n, it is written that nx. So plus nx into nx minus 1 by factorial 2 into 1 by n square plus nx into nx minus 1 into nx minus 2 divided by factorial 3 into 1 by I am writing here it will not be visible to you nx into nx minus 1 into nx minus 2 divided by factorial 3 into 1 by n cube plus 1. Clear. So now, the interesting thing is that you should rearrange this one. This is n. n tends to infinity. 1 plus n n cancel out. Even x plus here divide n square to the numerator. That means Divide n to this term, this factor, and again another n to this factor. So it will be nx by n, it will be x. And this is nx minus 1 by n, nx minus 1 by n. So nx by n, it is x, and this is minus 1 by n. Can I write like this or not? Yes, I can write. So divided by factorial 1, factorial 2, sorry. Then n cube is there. So divide here n, here n, here n. Clear? So if we divide n here, n n cancel out. Remain x. And if we divide n here, x plus x minus 1 by n. And here it will become x minus 2 by n. Whole divided by factorial 3. Plus so on. So now, take the limit. 1 plus x plus this will be 1 by infinity which tends to 0 so x into x is x square very nice form by factorial 2 this will tend to 0 this will tend to 0 so x into x is x square and this one is x so x cube by factorial 3 plus 1 so this is your requirement for us and here I can write 1 plus x by Factorial 1 plus x square by factorial 2. I can write because factorial 1 is 1. Is that true to you? 
plus x2 by factorial 3 plus 1. So, which is your requirement? Stay here. Clear. So, you should do the proof in a systematic way. You will write the same thing I am writing and no change. As uh, I have done the proof for 1 plus x to the power n, that means for e and e to the x is same thing, I am taking the power x and here it becomes nx in place of n, I am writing nx. So, same type of proof, everything remains same, no change. Clear. So, only for 5 to 10 minutes you have to concentrate. And if you will concentrate only 5 to 10 minutes, then you can do anything. Okay. I am not telling you to read uh, 24 hours or I am not telling you to read 5 hours also. I am telling you read for 15 minutes, then take rest, then again 15 minutes, then, then take rest like this. Okay. So, don't sit continuously. Okay. After some time, the brain will not work. So, read for 15 to 20 minutes or half an hour, then take 1 minute, 2 minute, 3 minutes, relax. Then again 30 minutes. Then take 1 or 2 minutes. So, proceed like this. Then see. Okay. So, thank you. Thank you for watching my class. Bye-bye.